Chief Alexander Molas, a Plateau PDP chieftain, on Tuesday, April 3, took on former President Aliskuno Bansanjo whom he accused of plotting to discredit PDP to promote his personal interest. Obasanjo had in a statement on Monday, told Nigerians not to take the apology offered by PDP some weeks ago serious and had described it as a corrupt political party. But Molwas, told the news agency of Nigeria, NAN, in Pankshin that Obasanjo's pronouncement was very unfortunate and selfish in nature. He described PDP's apology to Nigerians through its national chairman as a right step in the right direction, saying, only great men own up to their mistakes. If PDP had apologized willfully, having owned up to its mistakes, I shouldn't be castigated for that because every human organization has its own limitations. Even though OBJ's plots to discredit PDP for his own political party, he seems to have missed it and not knowing what he is doing. He is the most ungrateful Nigerian leader, who never knew how P2P was formed. But all the same, his party will not be anywhere close to having the confidence of Nigerians if that is the way he wants to go drumming for support to it. Obasanjo was never a member of PDP but out of sheer pity and magnanimity, the party brought him out of prison and made him president on a platter of gold. We made him who he is today, yet he had the guts to spit and shout against us, the chieftain alleged. Mowas further accused the ex-president of introducing corruption and corrupting the National Assembly with his third-term failed ambition. On a list of looters released by the federal government during the weekend, Molwas described it as lopsided and unreal since the names of those who jumped from P to P to APC were omitted. By that list, President Buhari ended up disappointing his ardent admirers and supporters. If people who looted and jumped into APC and those in APC that were caught red-handed are not in the list, but only P to P members. Then there is question mark on it, list, Moas alleged. He called on Nigerians not to be bothered by the game plans of APC and Obasanjo, but should keep faith with PDP, which he said had realized its mistakes and wished to give them a purposeful leadership in 2019.